Hello everyone, today I want to show you a small trick of grouping and ungrouping with macro. So uh, this is actually a very simple code. Uh, you will see later on it's only two lines, but I find it very handy when you have to prepare reports uh, or dashboards for others. And uh, this is very, um, very user friendly. Uh, so here is a sample document. Um, so you can see that, for example, I have some detailed reporting for three departments, one for operations, marketing, and then one for the main. Um, and then when you look at the summary, it's very lengthy. You have to scroll down to see all the details. Um, if I prepare this for some other people, they might not need to have to see the detail. They only need to see the summary. So this is why I actually grouped. Uh, all the details uh, rows, uh, which you can do by uh, using data and then go group or ungroup function. So when you look at this yourself, if, if you only want to see the subtotal for each department, one easy thing you can do without macro is go to the top left and then you can see one and two. Uh, this is the different levels. So if you want to just show level one, you click on the one and then you see the other um, subtotal row only and then you can just see only the summary. And then if you want to see the detail, you click on two and then you see all the detail. But then what I found from my experience is that when I share this report uh, to some other users, they might not be as familiar with Excel as I am. And uh, it will be hard for them to if you tell them, oh, you click on the one or two. So what's easier for them is that you prepare some icons there, which says, you know what, just group all the levels or ungroup all the levels. Or you can say like, see the summary or uh, see the detail. And then they click on it and then they can just see the detail. And then if they want to see the detail, they just ungroup it. So I found this is a much user-friendly way to do. So how do I do that uh, with macro? Uh, I'll show you my code here. So yeah, so as you can see, it's there's only two lines, one for each of the bottom, uh, each of those bottom there. So for one thing, for the group all levels, basically, um, it's just saying that for the active uh, sheet, uh, you have level one and level two grouped. Um, you only want to see level one, which is uh, the summary. So you only show the level one. And then for the ungroup is that you have two levels and I want to see to level two. Therefore, um, my row level and column level is showing level two. And that's it. That's how easy it is. Um, and then um, if you have a questions about creating the, bot uh, the bottom, here is how you can do it. So uh, you go to develop tab and then you go to insert. And then here is the form control and then let's say you select the bottom and then here let, let's just drag it uh, it's gonna ask you for a name um, and then let's say you name it whatever but then let's say it's test um, go here it's gonna show button three and then you click on it and then you can add the text there so basically you can say whatever you want so for example I want to say uh, view the summary which is is essentially the same as group all levels. Uh, you finish it and then jump out and then this is the bottom. And then now what you do is uh, right click, um, you can see assign macro. And then let's say I wanna um, group all the levels. So I assign this macro uh, to this bottom and then I go okay. And then I jump out and then now I click on it. It should show me exactly the same thing as uh, when I click on the all, all levels. Here you go. So that's how you show it. And then you just unclick it and then click on the other one and then it's all rolled up. Okay, so that's uh, the one trick that I wanna share about grouping and ungrouping with macro. I hope you find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.